Hello everyone, today we will cover how to enable sandbox in Windows 11. Sandbox is a great virtual machine mode in Windows to change settings, test apps and websites and of course everything you do will be cleared once you cross sandbox. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Windows 11 content. Now if you use Windows 10, the steps are exactly the same before enable sandbox you must make sure that virtualization is enabled in your operating system from the task manager click on performance in cpu you will see if virtualization is enabled or disabled on your operating system if it was disabled you must enable it from the bios to do so first you must know what type of motherboard do you have to find out what type of motherboard on your system from the search box type system information then click on open and here you can find the baseboard manufacturer and the baseboard product for example here I have B450 MK so just search so just search online on how to enable virtualization based on your motherboard after you enable virtualization, open the control panel, click on programs, programs and features, then click on turn windows features on or off, scroll down until you find windows sandbox, enable this option then click on ok. You must restart your system to use sandbox so click on restart now after you enable sandbox simply type sandbox in the search field then click on open and this is the windows sandbox a safe way to test any program any app and or any settings for example i'll try to download awesome audio a powerful audio editor if you are looking for audacity alternatives you can check my video about the best alternatives to audacity and of course you can use sandbox in full screen mode now i can use this software and test it however i like and when I'm done, I can minimize the screen and close sandbox and all the changes and settings will be removed. This is a great way to test anything and my favorite way to try softwares and to record videos because the changes that you made on Windows sandbox won't affect your main operation system. And for example, if there is a theme or a major change on the operation system that you want to try you can first use it on sandbox before you use it on your main operation system and of course it works fast once you're done with sandbox you can click on close as you can see this window make it clear that all all the content will be permanently lost sandbox is a great option but there are some problems when you enable this option for example if you use android emulators like bluestacks you will have problems when virtualization is enabled when sandbox is enabled there is a version of the software if virtualization is enabled but if you use some other Android emulators, you might face some problems running both Sandbox and Android emulators at the same time. Also, if you use VirtualBox, you might have some problems running virtual mode while Sandbox is enabled. These are problems that I personally faced once I enabled Sandbox. If you faced any problem, any similar problems on your operating system, then you maybe you should try to disable sandbox. But overall, this is a great option to test anything without affecting your main operating system. 
for more Windows 11 content you can check the description for more useful tutorials and if this video was useful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel until next time bye